This can be very huge for crypto investors. If you hold Dogalon, if you hold altcoins, if you hold meme coins, this is huge for us. Now, we may deal with a little dip. Honestly, we may deal with a dip. But soon come, shit is about to hit the fan. Now, as you guys know, CZ Binance was arrested yesterday and he was on bail for 175 million and he posted it and as you guys know with that bail right there that was the largest bail amount in history only crypto listen only crypto investors are able to make those type of bonds who invested you understand what i'm saying but this is where it gets crazy all right they take control madness. BlackRock is USA government. Again, the UNO, the whole institutions, the whole institutions, major institutions, these banks, BlackRock, Goldman Sachs, they all deal with the government. They all play by the rules. So with them knocking down CZ Binance, it was just a pawn in their play. With you holding these assets, you are going to see, listen, all these major institutions, they want what you have. They, they don't want you to become very smart and knowing that, hey, you need to go ahead and buy you some crypto. Okay. That's what's going on. Now they're trying to buy up a lot of these assets, a lot of these assets because a pump is on its way this man listen the government is trying to suppress these prices okay now with secretary yellen here she says here she says if cryptocurrency exchanges want to operate in the u.s they must play by the rules if they do not the u.s government will take action they will take action and like what I've been telling you guys, take your crypto off of these exchanges. The link is down below for a ledger. I've been telling you guys this. I ain't trying to sell nothing to you guys. I've just been trying to be, you know, truthful to you guys, how I would do my digital assets. They're coming after them. They're coming after these exchanges. If they're not listening, listen, I talked about this a couple videos ago. That's this is the reason why I haven't been posting any videos for the past four days. The reason why is they have not sent out any Dogon Mars to the victims who were hacked out of their digital currencies. Also, they Polynex never sent out Dogon Mars to them as well. So if you hold 5 billion tokens, they're supposed to say 5 billion tokens plus another 5 billion. So this is why I know Dogon Mars is going to go crazy. With CZ and Binance now removed out of the picture, the SEC can now green light the spot for ETF. As you guys see here, we'll speak about that later. They're talking about Sam Altman. Allowing BlackRock, Fidelity, Invesco, and other major players to take over control this is how the game is played. Family. Now the major institutions got their big hands in the, into the crypto space. All right? Listen, they could pump it and dump it. Pump it and dump it. They could pump it, pump it, pump it, pump it for us retail investors to not have enough money to even buy. We'll be buying fractions of digital assets. So if you are an investor already and have been holding, you are in great standings. It doesn't matter how much you got. You are in great standings. Now, okay, check this out now. SEC just met with Grayscale for spot Bitcoin ETF listing. This is after the fact that they charge CZ Binance for anti-money laundering anti-money laundering that's when they went and go ahead and do that so you guys already know the etf approval is on its way 
And once they get approved, Bitcoin is going to go crazy. It's going to go crazy. And our portfolios are going to go dumb. It's going to go dumb. <clears throat> now, check this out. Robert Kiyosaki says this about everything. Listen, there's a lot of stuff you have to listen to now. True capitalists bring, down, bring prices down, causing deflation. Marxists pri raise prices, causing inflation. Our leaders are Marxists, which is why we have inflation. Protect yourself from our Marxist leaders, which is the major institutions. Save gold, silver, Bitcoin, and not dollars. I'm going to let that marinate in your head. I'm going to let that marinate. You guys have to understand that. Duh. But that's what's going on right there. So now, Department of Justice to announce major cryptocurrency enforcement actions today. They are coming in. They are coming in heavily. So like what I said, if you guys are not holding Dogalon or any altcoins, meme coins, not just any type of meme coins, but meme coins and altcoins, they're going to push up. They're going to push up. And it's all about what you're going to do. Because we may see a dip, like I told you guys, but we're going to run up that bag. That Listen, man, we are so blessed to even be in this space. The institution's been eyeing everybody's assets. They're like, well, you know, we have to have a multi-trillion dollar fund. Multi-trillion, not multi-billion. Okay? So the market, the market cap is going to be crazy. With the ETF, Ethereum ETF, that's all in play. But, but, hold on. Hold on. There's something I want to read to you guys. When uh, CZ Binance had posted this up here, he was like this. I'm going to read everything to you guys to get my drift. CZ Binance. Today, I stepped down as CEO of Binance. Admittedly, it was not easy to let go emotionally because he knows. He know He started it up. He he invested in Bitcoin those years ago, and then he started up his own exchange. But I know it is the right thing to do. One, I made mistakes, and I must take responsibility. This is best for our community, for Binance, and for myself. Binance is no longer a baby. It is time for me to let it walk and run. I know Binance will continue to grow and excel with deep bench it has. I'm pleasured to announce that Richard Tang, our now former global head of regional markets, has been named the CEO of Binance today, okay? As you guys know, he speaks about Richard. Prior to joining Binance, Richard was CEO of the Financial Service Regulatory Authority at Abu Dhabi Global Market. Again, Abu Dhabi has a lot of things to do with Dogalon Mars as well. Think about it now. Chief Regulatory Officer of the Singapore Exchange and the Director of Corporate Finance and the Monetary Authority of Singapore. Okay. Now, this is what he is going to be doing on the sideline. He said, I will have I will take a break first. I have not had a single day of real phone off break for the last six and a half years. After that. My current thinking is I will probably do some passive investing, being a minority token shareholder in startups of areas of blockchain, Web3, DeFi, AI, and biotech. Biotech is also a Dogalon as, as well. I'm happy that I will finally have more time to spend looking at DeFi. Family. He... He is holding some Elon. He has it in his wallets. He has it in his wallets. Why? I think this was all a setup because with him stepping down, he could generate probably more billions, more billions or even a trillion as a shareholder. Okay? Take that back as a crypto investor holder. So, with him doing that and holding some bags, they're waiting. To, they're waiting to release Elon to the victims and to the people who had lost Elon. 
And then, buy, man, listen, they're buying right now. They're buying Elon right now. They are buying Elon right now. And it's going to shoot up. It's going to shoot up. How come they have not sent it? This is the reason why I say a lot of these altcoins, a lot of these meme coins, a lot of X, XRP and Dogel on Mars, they are going to rocket. I'm telling you guys that right now. Listen, it's on the news. It's on CNBC Squat Box. So if they're already talking about Binance and CZ and all this other stuff, then these people, retail investors, retail investors, but major investors are already, they're about to go golfing right now. They're already at the golf course right now. They're talking about, hey, have you heard what happened? I think it's time to go ahead and buy into some crypto. Let's go ahead and buy into it. While these retail investors are scared. Listen, they will wipe everything away off of those exchanges if they do not coordinate with the government. <clears throat> now, another guy that I've been telling you guys to keep your eye on, all right? His name is Balaji. I told you about him. He says, most individuals are happy to have their transactions monitored if it makes the world mod modestly safer. No, this is a violation of the Fourth Amendment, which protects against unreasonable search and seizure. It's time to have a conversation. Is the Bank Secrecy Act unconstitutional? Now, this all comes about with CZ Binance resigning and getting charged for anti-money laundering, okay? <clears throat> John McFay, he has even spoken upon this matter that they wanted his Bitcoin. They wanted all his assets. And that's why he was sent to prison and he died in prison. He said, I ain't kill myself. I got whacked. Okay? So we're going to see some crazy prices in our portfolio, family. And it's all about what are you going to do? What are you going to do? How are you, how are you going to feel knowing that you invested early and knowing you're going to become a millionaire? Knowing that you're going to become a millionaire. So <clears throat> with Wall, with Wall Dino Bay, he says, BlackRock is essentially the US government. Number one, they get rid of CZ of Binance. Two, they approve BlackRock Bitcoin spot ETF. Wall Street and government corporation continues. I do not make the rules. Okay. Now this is before. This is before the whole CZ. BlackRock's record for ETF approval is 575 wins, one loss. Bitcoin ETF approval is coming. Prepare yourself. Prepare yourself. Prepare yourself because this is going to be a crazy ride. Now, John E. Deaton, shout out to him. He says, with CZ Binance resigning today and considering Binance is the third largest holder of Bitcoin. You see it. The third largest holder of Bitcoin. Second, if you exclude Satoshi's Bitcoin, BlackRock should be smiling because they're happy. They're happy. Here's a reminder of me uh, discussing how incumbents use regulators as a weapon, which he had posted that on his Twitter. Fam, it's about to go crazy. Us holders, listen, you guys should see at least 100 bands in your account. At least 100 bands in terms, $100,000 in your portfolio. Okay? Now, Egypt and India likely to abandon U.S. dollar com completely. Hey, hey, man, listen. I went to the beach yesterday and I already felt, I felt some type of, you know, calming spirit knowing that like my life is going to change. I know that your life is going to change. Your life is going to change for the goodness. <clears throat> After all those hurdles that we all been through, 
trying to find the next gem. Invested into this token and it became a flop. Invested in that token, it became a flop. Or you invested in another token that was already riding, but you were grinding, but you were buying at the green candles and it flopped. This is now. The time is now. If we don't see nothing shake at the end of this year, prepare for 2024. It's going to be crazy. It's definitely going to be crazy. And I'm just excited that you guys are able to enjoy this journey and you guys walk with me in this journey to become wealthy, to see financial freedom, to have it at your fingertips. It's all about what you're going to do with your funds, your profits. What are you going to do? This is huge, family. I hope you guys are paying attention. Don't leave those digital assets on those exchange because why? I believe that a lot of these assets are going to be very highly valuable. And it's all about, did you hold? Did you sell too early? It's only those two. So I appreciate you guys watching. Just watch these news because uh, with the ETF locking in and you know, major institutions are ready to eat up a lot of these assets, our portfolios are going to go crazy. Not a lot of people in this world hold cryptocurrency. Not a lot. Not a lot of people. So I appreciate you guys watching. If you guys don't got your ledger, hit the description link down below. Let's get to this money because we are the new 1%. We are the new 1%ers. Peace out, fam.